using just an old remote he's got in his hand. A sensei comes to teach him how to work in Japan. Office sensei. His confidence slips. Office sensei. He's here to give him three tips. Office sensei. And I had no idea they were even going to do that. That's why Horenso is so important in Japan. Horenso. Yeah, I mean, of course. Oh, you have heard of it. Because a lot of people... Yeah, it's all good. Horenso. I know what you mean. Hmm. Spinach. Did somebody order something? Someone's order... Is this spinach? Why would anyone order this much spinach? Is this a joke? Hey, what's up? Wanna go get lunch later? Is this... Uh... Spinach? Did you order these? Yes. There's enough for the whole company here. Why did you order all of this? Someone said I needed to use Horenso. And you know what Horenso means, right? Spinach? No, I mean, yes, but no, not in this case. Oh, no. What have I done? All right, calm down. We can fix this. Let's take a step back. Horenso is a similar sounding acronym for Hokoku Rendaku Sodan, the Japanese words for report, inform, and consult. Not spinach? No, but it's just as nourishing for effective communication. Horenso is one of the core principles of communication within Japanese businesses. Report. You must keep your managers informed of your work, how it's progressing, when you've completed something, or if you're having any problems. Regular reporting can give your managers a clear picture of your work, and it reassures them that you're managing your responsibilities effectively. Think of it like a restaurant, letting the head chef know how the dish is coming along. That smells nice. Inform. Anyone who might be affected by your work must be kept in the loop whenever there's an update. This could be multiple people across departments and at different levels within the organization. It helps keep everyone updated and can reduce any misunderstandings. Think of it like sharing the recipe with your fellow chefs so they can better prepare everything that they need in the kitchen. Was that a chili? Consult. Whenever a problem arises or when decision making is necessary, don't hesitate to consult your managers or your colleagues. This encourages open discussion and ensures a more thorough decision making process by considering different perspectives. Think of it like asking the head chef for advice when you need a little extra seasoning. Thank you, Office Sensei. I think I know what to do now. Well, then, get to it. So, I accidentally ordered 357 packs of spinach to be delivered to the office. I'm glad you came to me about this. I'm afraid your department will also be receiving spinach shipments, but if you could just tell the courier to take them to the fifth floor, I'll arrange to have them moved. 
So what would you do if you accidentally ordered 357 packs of spinach? Hmm. Soup? So, Dave, what did you learn about Hōren So? Report. You must keep your managers informed about how your work is progressing and whenever you're experiencing any problems. That's right. And? Inform. Anyone who might be affected by your work must be kept informed of any updates. Exactly. And lastly? Consult. When a problem arises or decision-making is necessary, consult your superiors or colleagues to get their input and perspective. Perfect. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? I was wondering, how did you pay for all that spinach anyway? Uh, with the company credit card? What should I do? I think you know, Dave.